What about our medical treatment for a pregnant woman with inflammatory bowel disease? Well, women with disease flare are at increased risk for, as I mentioned, for premature birth and other complications. And it's very important, as, as the prior slides demonstrated to you, that we control the disease before conception even. And whatever was used to control the disease before conception, oftentimes those are the therapies we want to actually continue throughout pregnancy so we can reduce some of the complications and risks that I shared with you. The problem is that despite us being able to achieve mucosal control, improvement in clinical symptoms, mucosal remission, et cetera, despite all of that, we still have a lot of our patients who actually do not continue their therapies during pregnancy for, for valid fears or concerns that they may have, that, but that we need to counsel them better about. And specifically, the therapies that are more than likely stopped self-discontinued by the patient are the biologics and the immune modulators. And so we will definitely talk about the role of those. And the reasons that our patients say that I stopped my medications are because they don't want to harm their baby, the fetus. 